Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Bononovsky. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Now into his mouth. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, right to the mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be a... Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Oh, he's attacking choke now. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Might have got him with a choke. Wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, 
he's got the ground and pound going now. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, that'll work. The ground-and-pound strike is good. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds to go. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Okay, wait. Wait. Right, second round underway. Oh, nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this short. He's never looked this good. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the tape down there. How good is his takedown defense? Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses there with the left. He engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got that the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Volkanovski. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. In the mouth. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. I mean, how many can he take? Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him.
Yeah, that is an outstanding submission win turned in by that fighter here tonight. And not just the finishing instincts, but just the transitions and how patient he was to make sure that he had not just isolated the arm, but secured it before he tried to torque it. Near perfection in terms of the execution of that arm. Ball. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still... So he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the target is on his back. Every challenger is the very best in the world. He 